Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSGO News based all around the Chinese controversy known as the Fierce Tiger and Vici Gaming controversy. If you guys have not heard about this, I'll link Richard Lewis' video down below as well as my video a couple days ago. But in this video, I'm going to give you guys the full details on both sides of the story as just to how exactly Fierce Tiger and their new roster with one of their newest members who people, no one really knows who exactly this new member known as TB Girl actually is and how they managed to make it to the Face It Minor just a couple steps away from the Face It Major. How this team got there is seemingly very corrupted but also most important very suspicious. So hope you guys all enjoy and very quickly as well this will be a CSGO News episode based off one story but I'm sure you guys if not have heard the newest story out there about the apparently the newest G2 roster will likely be that trio of shocks existent Smiths. They'll be joined as well by Kenny S and their fifth member will be Body from G2's original roster a couple months ago. So it does make I guess you could say somewhat sense. People knew MBK would not be a part of that. People knew the trio was trying to get Kenny S as well. So allegedly right now they will be going with that five man roster and it does make a little bit more sense as well, why they would go with a G2 for current member as well. That would be, of course, a, a cheaper contract. They won't have to buy him out. So uh, going forward, that will be their roster and not really surprising to see Scream also left out of the future expected better roster. So now we all have updates for EHLTV. All we need now is, of course, the future LDLC roster and more importantly, the future Envious roster, who that will actually encompass and will it be MBK? Most likely, but we'll see who exactly changes. Now back to our main story, of course, to give you guys the full details from start to finish about this team known as Fierce Tigers and how they came to qualify for the Face It Minor. And first you need to take a step back to the Asian Championships going on that same weekend. So we're talking about this past weekend as well. They were playing with their member known as Leo until Leo, who was actually identified on his PC using evidently some cheats or some, of course, some illegal programs out there. So Valve gave him a permanent ban and all of a sudden, just a couple days, actually less than one day later, Leo was off that team and apparently he's been kicked from that roster, although no announcement from Fierce Tigers right now, but Leo has been kicked from their roster permanently. They subbed in a brand new member who no one knows quite by the name or even by their, their non-existing HLTV picture known as TB Girl. Now there's allegations out there that TB Girl apparently looks very familiar if not exactly like another uh, past member of Fierce Tigers. His name was actually Supreme. Supreme was actually kicked I believe from a WCA tournament back in 2017. He was given a one year ban for match fixing. Now it comes to no surprise seeing a Chinese member or player out there involved in match fixing. We've seen a long existing past of this thing coming, uh, coming in the Chinese scene and we've also seen very recently HLTV having admins in the Asian scene hosting tournaments and actually promoting tournaments over there for money and those same tournaments were also match fixed. So the Chinese scene, the Asian scene, long existing history of match fixes as well as cheaters out there and Supreme might just be one of them. So recent allegations do say their newest member known as TB Girl who played with Fierce Tigers for the minor a day after being having Leo actually banned that roster. So a brand new roster technically with a brand new player was actually disqualified from the Asian Championships that being Fierce Tigers, they played less than 24 hours later with that new member, TB Girl, who apparently just might be a past member who was actually match fixing known as Supreme and they managed to qualify with that new player which is very shockingly as well because they had to actually do go through four entire matches against some I guess you could say some top competing Asian teams one of them being Vici Gaming and they did manage to qualify for the face it minor and where the story somehow gets even more fishy if you could get any more suspicious as well the same roster who of course had Leo on that roster a day before who was evidently cheating and the team had no idea about it the team is being investigated as we speak by a as well as One World, who operates over in the Asian scene. So hopefully we'll see what happens. I find it very hard to believe in the professional scene that one of your players is cheating and the team has no idea about that. So we'll see what comes out in the future as well. But throughout the minor, they had four, in total four matches to actually win to make the minor itself. And again, they actually took that spot evidently after beating Vici Gaming. Now what's very, very weird as well, through those four matches, they actually played three teams who had to forfeit those matches. They only had to beat technically one team out there. And three of those teams, as you can see, on screen were actually faced forfeit all for the same reason. Now later on Fierce Tigers came out about this and said the exact details as to what happened but pretty much sum it up a little TLDR for three of the four teams who were forced to forfeit. It was all due to internet issues. Now the most important one coming out was Vici Gaming. That was the final matchup. The winner did actually qualify for the minor which you can imagine for these organizations is very very important for funding for sponsorships and might be important enough to have some foul play involved. Now Vici Gaming did report this incident to the police and again the full details were released as well. Apparently Vici Gaming had their own internet cables cut out of their internet box, which is of course malicious intent if it, if it what did actually happen the way they described it. There's many videos out there of them going to check their internet box and seeing that some cables were specifically marked and taken out. <laughs> Uh, 
Therefore, disconnecting them from the internet, and also apparently even further down the road, we had more suspicious things in terms of connections. No one really knows who's involved with Fierce Tiger, how powerful of an organization is also involved over there, because the admins as well for this this face it miner apparently disqualified the team even after Vici Gaming was in the server on time. Now, apparently, reportedly, the delayed time was going to be 4 p.m. Uh, the actual the entire Vici Gaming squad left their gaming house, went to a neighbor house to get online for the the match itself <laughs> And apparently, according to Vici Gaming as well as reports uh, recorded to HLTV, the admins, even though the entire Vici Gaming roster was in the server on time and ready to play, they still went ahead and disqualified the team, which is it's extraordinary when it comes to this important event you would think delaying the event by even a day would make sense we also have fierce tiger their statement saying they waited long enough they followed the exact rules a bit of bs they also managed to say although friendship comes first and competition comes second uh, it was it was their decision it was the admin's decision and we feel deeply sorry now i really highly doubt that but again i really do want to quickly clarify if it's that important for a team to qualify for the minor all for it i'm all for it it does make sense it's a free win i'm sure there's many teams out there who do the same exact thing but the real question is did it come down to the admin's choice or was it forced because it does seem according to Vici Gaming they were in the server on time so we have of course conflict of issue we have one team saying the team was not ready on time another team saying they were the admins agreeing with fierce tiger in the situation it all comes down to the fact that of all the teams in this Asian minor qualifier there were three teams internet issues and all three of those teams were only having internet issues against fierce tiger so is that the stars aligning for fierce tigers were they meant to be in the minor no matter what it's highly unlikely. And on top of that as well, we have so many unanswered questions about their current roster. Of course, Leo has now been banned permanently for evidently having cheats, and maybe the entire roster had no idea who is cheating for the past few years, or maybe just for the event. But that could be, of course, that could be a possibility. On top of that, we have admin signing with Fierce Tiger, although the team, Vici Gaming, was actually in the servers on time. And of course, the final question mark in the entire equation that we have yet to be answered by any of the teams out there, and of course, Vici Gaming has questioned this immensely, as they should be, is who the heck is TB Girl? TB Girl seemingly is Supreme from the past, who was actually banned for an entire year for match fixing. Although that could be, um, you know, again, if, if Supreme is hiding his name, had a brand new in-game name because he's ashamed of what he did in the past, then that makes sense. They're allowed to play with a guy who is no longer banned for match fixing. But it's still so many question marks in the air as to who this TB Girl actually is. Is it Supreme? Is it Leo playing on a different account? When you have these online qualifiers, there's going to be so many unanswered questions. And again, we also have no pictures of these. Guys guys, which is crazy to see Chinese pro players who evidently have no pictures of their faces at all. So we need some HLTV admins over there that are not corrupted to take some pictures of these guys, post them on HLTV, so we know who exactly we're talking about. But all in all, Vici Gaming has taken the entire thing to the police. There's an investigation underway, although I'm really not sure how you could possibly catch someone by doing this. It seems all the evidence is now gone completely. I highly doubt there's going to be any tracing back of fingerprints. But again, we don't really know the in-depth analysis they'll go into. But more importantly, Vici Gaming is pleading to these admins to have a replay of the match. Now again, I guarantee if we did a poll for the community of CSGO, both in, in the Asian scene as well as of course the rest of the world, I guarantee you a lot of us would vote yes for a replay. It seems only fair for Vici Gaming and, and Fierce Tigers to go this entire way by the ways they did for a replay of the match. An honest replay to see the best team to the minor. So, hope you guys all enjoy the full description of what happened there in the Chinese scene. I really just, it's, it's questionable what's going on over there and I really, there's so many unanswered questions at this point in time. It's quite shocking. So we're going to depend on HLTV admins, other admins out there, of course, for Face It to find out the truth, and hopefully that updates for you guys in the future. As of right now, though, the possible very fishy, suspicious team out there of Fierce Tigers will be at the Face It Minor, and they have a chance to make the major. Now, given their newest player, and of course, uh, the only teams they really had to beat uh, going to the minor itself, they're probably not a favorite going forward, but still, if they're going to have this kind of corruption at the minor qualifiers, who knows what they have in store for the major qualifiers. So, hope you guys all enjoy. My name is Jake Like You. I will see you all tomorrow with some more CSGO news. And thank you all for watching. I have some great news coming very, very soon. So, hope you guys can leave a comment down below what your favorite story was. Although there was only two stories. I'm going to go now. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching.